we'll have to, uh, I mean, we can, if you want me to sketch one up, <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> um, so. Ooh, I could draw it and it will look awful and it'll be appropriate for you. <laughs> 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 we'll race you, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's hey, make everyone, our, thanks our joining, best. Thanks, thanks for joining our live stream. Gonna regret it. Here's Alex <laughs> painting now on. <laughs> we should do that. All right, so oh yeah, didn't we already talk about doing that for April Fool's? Didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, yeah, did. we didn't do it. Yeah. Um, so it looks <laughs> like we're live again on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna hey. post a link to this on all my regular places. And be like, they tried to shut us down and they couldn't. Ah, yes. Okay, let me copy the link, put it on Instagram. <laughs> I kind of want to take a picture of this YouTube, like, you violated our stuff mm -hmm. link. Like, <laughs> wow, yeah. we were flagged, and, like, we, yeah, we went down for crazy. this. For this. <laughs> for this. <laughs> what, okay. I, what on earth could have possibly been the reasoning? I don't understand. This is... Perhaps is very exciting. Now our our project is, you know, going to be edgy. <laughs> <laughs> you just ending up edgy content, like what? <laughs> edgy content according to YouTube, like and what the are thing we? Is, I didn't know that they would do that in a like live on stream. A live YouTube, stream, yeah. YouTube has allowed some pretty whack things to exist on their platform. Oh, um, yeah, I did not know that they <laughs> were so stringent as to just go and pre-shut live streams down. Well, I, I think I think it's because of the Backstreet Boys. But why? So crazy. But how? I don't. I think I I was listening to somebody talk about this, and he was saying that they have bots doing all of the the screening. So it's like not actually a, a person making these calls. It's like they have an algorithm that scans what's happening, and it's like, is this an appropriate baby? You know. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, well, um. maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't. I feel like if we have the same everything, it's gonna. Um, it might get flagged again. <laughs> Well, I guess if we go down again, we go down. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's do it. I mean, I'm well, with you. I wish I wish I knew what they had an issue with, so we could just put a sensor bar over it or something. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It what? might be. Okay. It might what? <sighs> it's well. possible. I, I I don't know. Um. Oh, I love your pun, Kiki. Possible. Thank, thank you. I was love hoping it. that someone would it. catch it. Oh yeah, I got it. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, missed. Uh, well, some, one thing with that uh, that uh, Sarah and I had to talk about was, you know, the boards. They so look the boards and kind of the um, where the characters are and how they're posed. Um, you know, there there's three, four of them. They kind of have the same pose where they're walking away and they're kind of like, you know, encouraging the dog to come with them. But in order to be open to the audience, right? It's like their back is to the dog almost right so i was like oh like well, what about this like do we have an opportunity and she's like well and sarah's talking about the posing and everything like that and again right i was convinced um not like you know in a conflict way and i was like yeah great i'm not opposed to it and sarah just gives me this like So I've posted it. Um... Okay. What can I? How can I change this so that it's not offensive to YouTube or to anyone? Sensor bar. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, stream text. Okay. Stream text. I just put it that way. Sorry for the hashtag. I mean, <laughs> we made it a whole freaking hour yeah. before. I wonder if one of the YouTube bots is um, really in Getting the camp. for time? No, they're in the camp of graphic design and art cannot be associated <laughs> with one another. We've got to <laughs> shut this fricker down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. 
Well, gang, uh, we're done here. Well, oh, frick. <laughs> can we, is it possible that we can, we can start another one? Sure. Great. I mean, I, I say this as if I'm in charge here, I'm just, whatever. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell okay, you Alex. one thing. Alex, I was working on one of the card backs of a German Shepherd. And it doesn't show the whole thing, it just shows the Shepherd. Do you want to reveal those, or should we do another event? Um... Let's do another event. Okay. Ooh, or should we make our special announcement, since we have... Oh yeah, we could always take- yeah, we could go there. Yeah, let's go- let's take it with the special announcement material. Okay. I mean... Okay. Since it's right. pertinent to yeah. the subject. Relevant to your- relevant to your interests. <laughs> That's a fun word to say. Pertinent. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so, sorry, let me grab those images. Wait, so we're. I'm gonna flash the part of the pack image on stream. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. But. Right. Awesome. Boom. So, um, hey. So, uh, I know a lot of our com, uh, a lot of our content, a lot of our commentary has been discussing. You know that we want to support uh, rescue um, in in a very very meaningful way, and I'm very pleased to announce our uh, n our first uh, official pack member is uh, the Golden Gate. Bassett Rescue, Yay. and uh, I'm so so thrilled. Uh, big thanks to Addie, who uh, Addie Dawes, who was on our live stream maybe a couple weeks ago, talking to us about our bass, uh, her Bassett hounds, and kind of what the rescue uh, rescue does, and um, what the um, what the breed needs uh, as far as um, as far as you know what potential adopters should think about. And then also two big thanks to Susan who introduced us. Um, yeah, so we we've got an official uh, an official part of the pack. So, um, big thanks and big congratulations to to the team. Um, <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten any of this without without Sarah and Kiki, um, you know, helping us out and doing doing everything that they do. Um, this picture is actually one of the one of the photos that was taken from a uh, puppy mill rescue where the Bassett, the Bassett Rescue actually rescued almost 60, 60 dogs. Um, we did talk about that in our live stream uh, a couple weeks ago. So if you haven't uh, taken a listen to that, it's uh, the chat with Golden Gate Bassett Rescue and live painting content um, from about a month ago. But um, yeah, it's, it's uh, just a wonderful organization. Uh, we have a lot of their contact info and we'll be getting that out to folks um folks very soon uh, again so if you know any other rescues um rescue organizations that might be interested in partnering with us uh we'd love to ha have them as part of our pack um again for the entirety of the project uh the kickstarter funding campaign and and efforts we're going to be donating a portion of all sales to rescues and um and then we're also going to be donating a portion of the rest, uh, donating a portion of our sales, basically every year that we're that we're a game, right? That we are, you know, pushing it hard, and that our uh, that our rescue partners are are engaged. So um, we've had one or two uh, groups already interested, um, but it's really through word of mouth at this point. Um, and then so watch us on social. Um, we're going to be setting up. Uh, the infrastructure to have our email lists and everything put away and uh, and ready for you guys, uh, both as backers or a special link out there for rescue organizations. So congratulations again. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Gate Bassett Rescue. Welcome yeah. to being part of the pack. And um, yeah, so, I think... Uh, 
One thing that I've been like really excited about and I keep thinking about is like, you know, we've we've talked a lot about like we want to help rescues and doing our best to, you know, promote responsible dog ownership and things like that. And like those those goals obviously being great but are also very broad. But this is like we can actually we we know the people and the dogs. I have on screen right now one of the adoptable dogs with Golden Gate Basset Rescue. His name is or her name is Magic. Look at that face. Like so our cute. <laughs> Look at those eyes. It's it, it it's ruining me. Um but <laughs> <laughs> you know, we like if you if you buy our game then like in a small way or in a big way, I mean, you're helping these animals. This dog is going to be benefited from this. Um all okay. of these dogs. Let's let's go to their main page here. Um that is a cool thing to be able to say, like, you're helping this dog specifically, you yeah. know? Yeah. And of course, Golden Gate has, um, you know, you can sponsor dogs directly. You don't just have to go through us, but, um, you know, like, being able to look at all these pets and, you know, they, Golden Gate, like, have y'all been, I mean, I'm sure y'all have been to their website. Um, huh? They they write a lot of stuff about their dogs. They're, you know, there's a lot of things that you can learn about them and they're very detailed and like, here's specifically how this dog is getting care and how much it costs and what kind of, you know, life we're looking for for them, what their life is like in foster, you know, like they, they're they very upfront about their dogs. Um, and so now we can, we can know <laughs> exactly yeah. what the impact is, um, which is amazing. Also, I just like looking at pictures of dogs. Yep. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah. Um, huh. So yeah, those, those these these pups are part of the pack now, and uh, we're always on the hunt for more. Um, Hannah, a pup puppy? Like what? What? Wait, what's going on with Hannah's photo? Hmm. Hannah. What's going on with Hannah? Hannah, yeah. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh yeah, Hannah. Yeah, she's in the. Let's see. Um, puppy, puppy. Yeah, just, was... Or maybe just the photo is just small. No, it's just a small. Um, she's got a little cast on. Poor baby. Let's see. Oh. Um. Oh. She's come a long way and likes to go to the dog park with her sister Gigi. That's so cute. Pictures <laughs> of before and after. Okay, so there's before. And after, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> what a sweet puppy! Well, she's not a puppy; she's a, a mature lady, senior dog. <laughs> it's okay. That's just an old puppy. Yeah, they're all dogs and puppies <laughs> in most yeah. ways. They count. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm thrilled. Uh, you know, absolutely, absolutely thrilled. But, um, you know, we have first, uh, first pack member. Um, we have. I've asking right now uh, and yeah so uh, we're, we're not at a shortage there's no limit right we want to raise uh money uh for you know these rescues no matter what their area of focus is or uh, what the size of their organization is right i think that uh, a lot of these organizations are volunteer organized volunteer run they're distributed a lot of people are putting in a lot of their time their energy into you know making sure that the um that the dogs are, are, are getting care um, and that they're also too educating uh, folks about about the breeds to help them. So um, yeah, yeah, share this project, save lives. Um, <laughs> I think that's that's uh, the, oh yeah, what, what do we do? The, the like, share. I feel like like, share, subscribe needs to have like a song or maybe something that we like play. Like, and... <laughs> comment, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. Share, email, like, telegraph. subscribe, like, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, <laughs> eat some chives. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh my gosh, can we have? Okay, I'm gonna ask Kiki to do a new song every stream. It's gonna be great. Oh. <laughs> this could get dangerous. Oh, I love it. I love it. Like, so subscribe. Much. Don't go to the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um, what? So yeah. What a wonderful, what a wonderful piece of news. It was very uplifting, uh, and I know that we all we all need it uh, right now. So um, anyway, congratulations, team, and thank you, our 
viewers, our subs- our supporters, um, in the near in the near term now, and uh, and in the soon soon future. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, first first pack. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Very very excited. Awesome. Well, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do another event. We've got about thirty yeah. minutes, which well, is enough, minutes. probably enough for me to get a, an underpainting going. Let oh yeah, see. then hey, let's let's far be it for me to you know slow <laughs> down Sarah. No way, like it's it's like it's like we always it's like we always ask Sarah, right? Like when people ask me, so Alex, when's the game gonna be done? And I turn to Sarah very quickly. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, when's it gonna be done? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see which. Um, hey, hey, Sarah. Yeah. When is when is the game gonna be done? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now I think we have to worry about asking, um, hey, Panda or whoever it is, when oh, is the yeah. game gonna be done? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good update to to kind of give the give the peeps. Um, so we are we are in process uh, as many of the um, manufac- game manufacturers kind of come back online in a small fashion, in a, in a, in a you know, the cautious um, capacity, I guess you could say. Um, we are talking to um, several producers of, for the game. So we're hopeful that we can, you know, look through, uh, make, some, make some good choices uh, to keep, you know, our production high quality for you um it's just you know that that part takes as long as it's going to take these kind of you know challenging times but um yeah if anybody i mean of course we're always looking for recommendations so if anybody knows of anything uh or has opinions you know happy to happy to take those on um yeah i think I, i've certainly learned a lot about the production side of things recently so oh, um, I'm hoping to apply that knowledge and share those lessons learned, and uh, you know, have a smooth path to success um, for the production side of things. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So y'all are about to see my very scientific method for determining. Put a wrench. No, sorry. It's it's dice in a ceramic cup, which I realize is maybe the worst possible thing <laughs> that you can do. Sounds Yeah, the great. worst possible audio. We got some ASMR going up Hey here. guys. Alright, so we've Welcome got... to Sarah's ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make so much more money doing that. Um, oh dear. Right. We, have, we have seven pieces here and we have one D8. Um, so I'm gonna roll it. It's a four. So... We're gonna do the splash piece. Oh, splash! That's Yay. the one I would have picked. The one I would have picked totally. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Is it a Boston because of splash? As you know, it's a Boston because of splash. Uh, it's a it's a card called splash exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> and you knew exactly who that was. Yeah. So tell me. So tell me for true. Did you know that it was gonna be a Boston? Like when the moment you saw, like the card anatomy. Like like when did you? When did you make your dis- when did you make the decision in your mind? Um, basically, as soon as I had to put pencil to paper, um, <laughs> I, it was going to be a Boston. Um, because the so the, the description on the card is um, like it, it, the implication is like uh, that they're taking a bath or something. I don't know if that's the description of the card or if that's the art that's on the the test cards that I have. Um, but either way, it's like. In the first impression I got was like they were in a bath and they shook water off and got someone else wet, um, and so like as soon as I read the card, I wasn't thinking Boston, mm-hmm. but again, literally as soon as I touched pencil to paper, it was like that was the first decision. Um, you know what what dog is it going to be? Because obviously all the dogs are very different shapes, um, mm-hmm. and <laughs> it was there was no question in my mind. My hand just automatically drew a Boston Terrier. Um, and you'll notice, um, I don't know if you'll notice or not, most of the times people can't tell Bostons apart very much, but this Boston looks a little bit different than our regular Boston, um, because this one I use reference images of Splash instead of, of Leo. Ah. Uh, yeah. I did notice he was chunkier. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I, I feel like I 
could have gotten away with it because, um, if not for you meddling kids, um, <laughs> I feel like I could have gotten away with it a little bit easier because, um, the legs are foreshortened, you know, for the camera. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah, it's just a little bit chunkier. Splashy was a, a chunky <laughs> boy. Leo was pretty mean. Oh, but yeah, Splash loved food. Um, I'm sure I've told before uh, the story of all the different things that we found in his stomach over the years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, so since we, you know, since we're come, we, I, I'm remiss. I, giving you the 23 minute warning um, for the stream. Uh, I feel like uh, Nicole Byers from Nailed It when she forgets to give the contestants uh, the time warning. So uh, I don't know. Like, does it, this make it a speed paint, or is it like, like what happens? <laughs> um, nah, what happens is just I'm gonna keep going until time <laughs> and whatever Fantastic. i get is, is just a bonus um you know we planned right. on having uh, uh one piece bonus. finished bonus ah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean in the game we have bonus points too mm -hmm. um <laughs> and um yeah have i had considered no kiki you and i've been working on the or we've been working on the instructions a little bit i forget did i did I leave it as B O N U S or did I leave it as B O N E dash U S for bonus points? <laughs> B O N E dash U S. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I had the thought, what if what if it's like an icon? Of course. A bone yes. if it a just literal is bone. Like, yeah, like it's a bone with the word bonus in it, like spelled correctly, so people still mm -hmm. understand the word but also they get the pun. Yes. <laughs> You know I'm dead. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, how can I say no to that? To a pun? <laughs> we do love You're illustrating a pun. A pun. Oh, we do. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more puns in the game. So I I thought about that, and mm. I wasn't sure in a 60 card vent deck. Oops. Right? Um, or you know, fifty for for the base set. Um, didn't make sense to have every card try to be a pun. Um, well, not every card. You gotta like make sure you surprise them every once in a while. Like lull them into yeah. all sense of security, and then hit them with a <laughs> like impossible. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. I mean, you know, uh, I have have designs for cards like Diggity Dog. Right? Yeah. I have, and, uh, you know, I have designs for cards that are, um, you know, rough around the edges. I have mm. designs for the cards like, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of those designed designed up. Um, so focusing, because this is a, you know, our first game out, and um, I'm just kind of, kind of trying to focus to what was hyper critical. Um, mm. I haven't gone through and, and and put all those into motion yet. Um, I thought about it, you know, I mean, everybody who, a lot of folks who talk to me about this game are very excited, um, you know, so they're like, oh yeah, well, think about your stretch goals. Um, even even Panda, like manufacturing and other, you know, manufacturers are like, well, what are the stretch goals? Make sure that you've planned for all of them. And I'm like, for all of them? Like, <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. But, um, you know, I think we've got some reasonable stretch goals already. I think that we have a um, good amount we can focus on in terms of quality. And yes, just like you're saying, right, Kiki, I want to make sure that the that the puns are as delicious because, you know, <laughs> they're not not every card. Yeah. But, uh, Stretch goal. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Give us twice as much money and we'll give you twice as many puns. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The, that'll be one saying? of the bonuses. Incomprehensible set where every word is a pun such that it obscures me. <laughs> you'll have, oh man, I can see it now. It's going to be stretch goal and we'll name it impossible. <laughs> and and we have to go. <laughs> oh, it's going to be delightful. Impossible. And then like, oh yeah, if we hit this goal, like we will release the 10, the 10, 20, 25 cards that Alex has in development that are, um, that are puns. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Expunction set. 
That's oh. not a good one. I didn't feel good about that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is all about, right? We're live. We're trying stuff out, right? Feel free to throw <laughs> yeah. it on back if you don't like it. No bad ideas in spitballing. <laughs> yeah. Direct your hate mail for puns to Sarah this time. <laughs> Catch her after the live stream. I will. I will. <laughs> I will fall on that sword. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anyone. And that's why you can do this job. <laughs> You're the illustrator cannon. that Gotham needed. Yeah, <laughs> <Hey>, uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, I wanna, I wanna do something like you know, if there's, if there's time, I would love to do something even with like our current, current. Uh, current attempts for uh, social media right like this post a post like a for offense mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what you know what dogs are doing there <laughs> like this post air <laughs> <Air> this post <laughs> Well, maybe I do. See, this is the fun. This is the glamorous bits that I cut off for the stream. Um, <laughs> is uh, separating everything out into groups so that I can yeah, easily. Yeah, I think. Hmm. I think it's cool to have have this up at least once. You know, people can see the full process. This is like the uncut version. Oh no! <laughs> careful, YouTube might take it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't get sort of too much behind the scenes. That's uh... okay. That's also well, the, the other reason. Of I the think. motion and emotion in the in the image that you have there for like Splash, just like coming, th he's coming through. Yeah. Like, nothing will stop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is another. Uh, hang on, I need to save this before I start dropping in. Big images. Uh, so is he is he getting a bath? He will after is this. Is that what's happening? No. Oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's the. Uh, it'll be more clear as I um, full res when I do what I'm about to do, which is to put in one of my cheats, one of my oh, cheat codes word. here. Is that a fence? Yeah, it's the fence. Oh my! <laughs> um, That's like four shots right there. Yeah, I made it. I, for... wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I saw was four three. I have a file called fencerawpng um, and uh, oh. this is a slightly modified version of the fence. Can y'all guess? when in the process I made this fence. I'm just curious. Um, you don't if when you did when you did um did the garbage can. Hmm. Before that. Oh yeah. um <laughs> it was I, I can't think I can't think of another image that we did really, really early on that required fence. The very first one that we did that required a fence was catch a flying disc um and it's one of the ones that i i i, I say uh. that all of them are my favorites but it's one that i like a whole lot um yeah let's see catch a flying disc it's in uh, the priorities one um it was uh i spent enough time trying to like nail the um i don't know i feel like we have a, a it's it's kind of fun and easy for me to figure out like the balance between realistic and still kind of like stylized and cartoony with like dogs and with people but with something like a fence like wood grain texture um that was enough of a pain and enough of a process for me to be like i don't actually want to do this again um so <laughs> so from this little strip of fence that you see in the background with the collie here um I all I painted was this this bit at first and it took me let's see how many 
layers I've gotten here. One, two, three, oh, four, dear. five, six, seven, eight layers. Um, and took that little bit of fence and extrapolated it out into this big version um, that I have used for every illustration so far that has a fence in it. Um, great. It's awesome. Yeah. Time saving. I like that. Pro tip, everybody. Pro yeah, hey, tip. You got it. There's a from... fun fact. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> the, the fence that you see is the same fence, which, like, I feel like, you know, that that's. It doesn't make any sense. It's a valid to... statement. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. It's a valid statement. How it... else would you do it, right? <laughs> yeah. Should I, like, repaint every plank fresh each time? You know, that doesn't, like, no. doesn't seem like a good way to spend time or money. Or, uh, also, like, the, the dogs are playing in the same yard, you know? So the same yeah. fence is there. Pixel perfect, the same fence. Yeah. I haven't been smart enough to do that with grass yet, though, which I really should have. <laughs> but grass, I feel like, looks different all the time. Yeah, that's true. It, um, like, I couldn't have just used a plain grass texture for, um, the, uh, what was it? Belly rubs card with the basset on its back. Um, trying to use like that's that's a very close up, you know, top down grass. I couldn't have used that same grass here, you know, where it's mm -hmm. far in the distance and there's puddles. The distant grass versus the close to yeah, <laughs> clear and present grass. Clear and present grass. <laughs> I want that to be my band name. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm sorry that I'm still trying to to get answers here. Is it a hose? Is he getting a bucket of water dumped on it? Or is there just like a big puddle? There's there's a big old puddle. That's the okay. uh I, hopefully it'll become more clear as uh, we paint some color into the puddle here. Got you. You start with okay. So then the water. Did you start with white as like the fur, the farthest most outline to give it that like foamy like mm -hmm. yeah color, so... and then like you're gonna fill in the blue later. Okay, gotcha. Well, Makes there's sense. not gonna be blue. It's green because it's a grassy like kind of muddy wet yard after it's rained. Oh, um, nice. So that like murky green color that we've got going on here um that's that's what we're working with um the uh, I like how... hmm? oh sorry go ahead uh i was uh, gonna say the um uh like the the splash shape is gonna get a little bit more defined in a little bit more opaque but not a whole lot more um so if we feel like it doesn't look enough like water or it's not clear enough yet what's happening then this is the time to address that it looks like water yeah it looks like water i was just trying to nail down the the scenario because the the water looks like it's being poured on him really it comes from off the screen yeah hmm. um he's supposed to be running through a um puddle yeah that makes sense And see I was gonna say, I think it's funny that we as humans have decided that water is blue. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Yeah. Because water is a big horizontal plane. And you know what else is a big horizontal plane? The sky. That mm. is also blue. Yeah. So. It's just easier that way. <laughs> <laughs> That would be my answer. <laughs> if someone asked me, why why is water blue? You know? Just easier that way. <laughs> it's a primary color. Have crayons in that color. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're trying to draw a glass of water, like, I mean, how are you going to let people know there's something in that glass? Blue. <laughs> blue. Little did everyone know that they were blue Gatorade this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's electrolytes. Oh man, 
freaking electrolytes. <laughs> what, what do we even do? Don't get me started on electrolytes. Get me started on electrolytes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the point is supposed to be behind electrolytes. I mean, okay, y'all, let me throw something horrifying for y'all. Hit um, me. Okay, so people are doing, instead of Gatorade, they're drinking pickle juice. Yeah, that doesn't... They don't do the same thing. Apparently, pickle juice is more effective. At what? Hydrate I, you? you know, <laughs> yeah. I don't buy that. Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, it's happening. Take it up with the pickle happening. drinkers, I guess. Yeah, oh. because apparently the sodium, uh, oh. like you would think that the sodium would dehydrate you. It would you. dry you the heck out. Yeah, like a starfish under think. a heat lamp. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. I, and I could be I could be wrong because I've heard this secondhand and I haven't done any of my own fact checking, which I probably should before spewing it on a live stream. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, that has never happened on the internet before. You're right. <laughs> I'll continue. This is <laughs> infallible fact. <laughs> um, no, I, I have no idea, but it's it's rumored. And you know what? I'm sitting in front of a computer while. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kiki does that. Yes, uh, I have. Not only have I not only have I heard these same things, uh, I've also seen people partaking and uh, encouraging others to as well. The pickle oh. juice, um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, it's a kind of a particular. Um, uh, so, being like, oh yeah, well you know, try this. It's much more healthy, organic, you know, and naturally occurring type of you know. Yeah, the whole replenishment, rehydration. Arguments like I have heard these too, so yes. Mm. What have you found on the interwebs? Okay. Eight reasons you should be drinking pickle juice <laughs> from delish.com. Allow me Delish. to read you an excerpt, <laughs> please, from <laughs> this highly just educational blog. So, reason number one it can relieve muscle cramping because apparently it has potassium and sodium in it. And people will eat bananas to get rid of muscle cramps. So apparently pickles work. Now, <laughs> point number two is where it has lost me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Taking uh, uh, uh. pickle back shots is crazy fun. <laughs> First <laughs> sentence, if you've That's... never had one of these, you aren't living. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um... I... I'm gonna check my pulse because I haven't done it. Does that mean I'm not alive? I think probably so. I think you may be a ghost. Have you checked? I, you know, I haven't. But point number three sipping plain H2O is great, but a drink that contains both sodium and potassium is ideal because it'll help you get hydrated faster and remain that way. I think this is crazy. They're saying. <laughs> Don't drink water, drink pickles. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, Sorry. No. Uh, one of my, no. uh... Oh, go ahead. Please, please. Oh, how, no. How many there's, are on the list? Many are on the list? That was three, so we still got five more to okay. go. You tell your story. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> I have a friend who is a, uh... I have two friends who are geologists. And, um... You know, one of the things that uh, I think it was like CNN or BBC posted was, um, you know, uh, amongst amongst uh, the the antic search cure or vaccine to COVID nineteen, right? <gasps> Something that is guaranteed to cure it um, is is molten lava, like drinking <clears throat> molten lava, mm. and uh, the reason why experts don't recommend that you drink molten lava is because that will be what kills you. Yeah. Huh. And it there will... were com there were comments about like, oh, well, you know, there were comments from geologists on the on the article saying, yes, as a geologist, would not recommend. Yeah, I can confirm. And then, there was this, and then the snark came back. Look at big geology. 
trying to tell us like yeah. what will or won't happen. Go on, drink the lava. Like, yeah. <laughs> Big <Gosh>. geology. <laughs> geology. Yes. Yeah, so I sent it to my geologist friends. I was like, "Are you part of Big Geology?" And they're like, "Is that even a thing?" <laughs> if so, I want to. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, um... Huh. <laughs> it's just like, uh, bleach will kill it, too. Um... Yes! So if you, if you drink that, you won't uh, have please it. Please do not drink bleach, please do not drink yeah, lava. We don't... talk about to not endorse either of these ideas! <laughs> yeah, that's <is> awful. <laughs> yes, yes, those were sarcastic comments. Good, good. okay, clear. Clear. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> the, <laughs> I think that yeah. the you, I think the fact that YouTube somehow magically thought that our previous portion of this live stream was uh, was caustic or <laughs> violated the community guidelines. Yeah. Just actually derailed us and got us into yeah that space. I'm if, like, if they, what happened, guys? Yeah. If they wanted us to chill out, they should have let us keep going. <laughs> now we're now we're back, but we're rebels. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Would you say? You know what? Never mind. We're gonna continue. Oh, there was a pun there. I know there, it. There, there was. There was, Let's there was see. a wind up. There was a wind up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a lot of these points are repetitive, but the one that gets me is it can help you lose weight. Everything can. It's gross. You're grossed out, and you don't want to eat or drink anything else? <laughs> no, Likely. according to a study from Bioscience, Biotechnology, and Biochemistry, which that's that's what they say, according to a study from all three of those fields. Wow. <laughs> consuming vinegar, the main ingredient in pickle juice, every day can promote healthy weight loss. Um, because you're not able to eat because... lunch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because if you are a strong enough human being to drink vinegar if you already are that like you don't enjoy life much and you're okay with that <laughs> you can drink it i am not strong enough my um my sleep doctor actually recommended um drinking a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar um mm. with bed and uh I have a lot of, like, I've, I've heard a lot of people espouse the benefits of apple cider vinegar. So I bought some. Um, uh, it had apple cider, the word apple cider in it. Um, tried it. Threw it out. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> or I didn't throw it out, I gave it, my mom uh, wanted it to use for cooking, and so I gave it to her. Um, but I, I, I make, put a little bit on my tongue and could not stomach actually drinking any apple cider vinegar straight. Um, because I'm All right. Weak. Here, okay. If we didn't get shut down and demonetized before, I'm about to drop a bomb on you guys. <laughs> I like vinegar. I would drink vinegar. You would drink vinegar straight? I would. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. <sighs> oh, no, no. <laughs> You challenged me a lot. views. World um, views changing. It, this, you know, all all relationships challenge you in different ways. You know, to, to grow as a person, you you got to. Um, you can't you can only fill your life with people that let you stay in your comfort zone. But this <laughs> is a little bit much. <laughs> I, is this I, what is this what does it after after over a decade? I am y'all know that vine that's like I am disgusted, I am revolted, <laughs> I spend my entire life in service to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and this is the thanks that I get. Um <laughs> that's me right now. And is he like climbing into uh, a yes, dryer? Yes, he's climbing into a dryer, <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, uh that that's 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 pretty challenging. Um can you, so, can, uh, we, we go now to live to the interview with someone who likes drinking vinegar. Can you give me some of the high <laughs> points of that experience? And nothing, <laughs> nothing I say is going to be good. Like, it's mm -mm. not. Like, I've already, also, I hope this doesn't deter people from buying our game. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, a bunch don't of go back drinkers. and watch these live streams. Like, the person that's buying this is a freak. Like, she likes <laughs> drinking vinegar. Like. <laughs> She so, thinks that art is design. What? Oh, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, man, I've just been like the most controversial on here. Yeah. Today. I told people to drink pickle juice. <laughs> I, I, you know, I told people to drink molten lava. You know, it's, it's a, it's been quite a wild, day. it's a wild day. Wild day. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. I and guess with, well, my best, what? Your best what? Oh, I was going to say my best guess as to why I am okay with drinking vinegar is because I, I like the burn. <laughs> <laughs> you like saying nothing about that sounds good. It makes me yeah. sound like I have a problem. A crazy person, yeah. <laughs> no. just, sometimes I just want to feel alive. And... <laughs> That's exactly what it is. If you want to feel alive, just slam an entire eight ounce glass of vinegar. I promise you, your life will never be safe. Not because it'll be over. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've, we've learned too much on this live stream. Uh, and that's okay. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. That's what... live, uncut. YouTube can't show us down. Yeah, I was about to say, that's what happens now that we're fugitives from YouTube.com. We're, we've bonded. This is kind of like, so, it, I, I'm assuming that our other live stream is going to come back eventually, um, because I, I oh, challenged oh, YouTube, <laughs> been like, hey, please, please put this content back, um, but uh, this is the kind of thing that, like, you're seeing me do right now what I do in the underpainting, except I'm going to be a little bit cleaner with it. And by the time I'm done with these eyeballs, they'll be just, like, done. Um, oh. If I was trying the to boot get it, snoot. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I what, was... What's the worst thing? Sorry, I'm, I, I looked at the pickle juice vlog again. What's the worst <laughs> thing you could say you've ever drank? <laughs> worst thing I could say I've ever drank? Yeah. Well, I try not to put bad things in my mouth, Kiki. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't have, like, a running tally of what's the worst. Uh, huh. Drink, specifically, I don't really have. I would, I would probably say the apple cider vinegar is mm. the straight worst. I'm sure I've, like, I've, I've had alcohol that is bad, but um, usually it's someone tells me that it's good. I think the thing that is, like, the most universally people would agree, like, oh yeah, not great, is probably just drinking straight apple cider vinegar, which <laughs> in this instance, of course, is kind of a uh, moot. But, um, the worst food, mm -hmm. I would say, you know exactly what I'm talking about, um, was a, uh, some sushi that was very clearly bad that oh. I got from a, uh, buffet in Greensboro, North Carolina? Um, My gosh, it was astoundingly bad. I don't think I've ever had a food that was that bad. Yeah, same. Tasted, tasted like the bottom of a fish tank that hadn't been cleaned oh, in a while. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And we were sitting right next to a fish tank, so yes. it's real. Uh, yeah, next to a dirty fish tank. Yeah, oh, yeah. super didn't help. Oh, no. Um, I'll go next, unless Alex <laughs> wants to answer. Uh, ladies. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Um, let's, let's rank it. So, I guess we'll start with the tamest, and then go up from there. Um. You have a, okay. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll start with the, the vinegar, like, straight up white vinegar. I mean, I like it, but some people would probably be horrified. Um, second worst, uh, soy sauce. Mm. Straight up did a shot of soy sauce. Why? Yeah, that's the question. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, we played this game in in college. Not like I went to college, college, but uh, it was um, shot roulette. Oh. But it wasn't actual oh, alcohol, no. it was just like, you just would mix beverages? things that seemed, yeah. Oh. So, it was either 
you had two options in front of you. One of them was Dr. Pepper and the other was soy sauce. Oh god. <laughs> I guess you got the soy sauce. It was me. <laughs> it was it was awful because like it was so dense and heavy. Yeah. Like and it just felt like a rock. Because it's a sauce. It's not like a uh, beverage. It's mainly yeah, salt. Yeah. Just yeah, I know. It's early also, salt. It's like rock. Let me just say that's extremely bad for you and yes. Not yeah, no one that, should so don't do that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that. Okay, I'll put another comment. <laughs> I already had to put in the in the in in our live stream, right? The the dogs bond game arrow does not endorse, recommend, or condone anyone to drink or ingest molten lava. Now we gotta do. Now yeah. we gotta do the same thing with soy sauce. Same, same Z's with soy sauce. Yeah, don't drink soy sauce. Now the worst thing, the worst liquid that has ever entered my body, I I will say, is battery acid. <laughs> Why? Excuse me? Why? Hang on. Why? I <laughs> was a child. Oh no. Oh my goodness. And I did not have proper supervision. I, yeah. And <laughs> I was like, I wonder what a battery tastes like. It was a very old battery that was leaking. And I was like, oh, this tastes weird. <laughs> and then then people wonder why I am the way that I am. Because <laughs> I was sucking down battery juice in my formative year. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people don't have an answer to that. A lot of people look in the mirror and say, why am I? Uh, <laughs> you've got it down pat, though. Yeah, I, I've got it for every question. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add an addendum. Super samesies. Battery acid. Battery acid. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and that's my story. What about you, Alex? Well, I mean, you know, so as a child, were you always like, were you always high energy and highly charged? <laughs> I, I have to go. Like, I can't. <laughs> I just I'm not used to being red like this. You know, <laughs> ironically, I was though. Like, people would tell me all the time that I was. Energetic. Well, maybe, maybe that's now they, I don't know why. They a lot. Yeah, did they compare you to an Energizer bunny? Yes. <laughs> I actually did get that a ton. Hmm? <laughs> well, now you know why. Uh, now you know why. <laughs> yes. All the mysteries have been unveiled. Um, this is I a weird think... one. <laughs> Go ahead. What's a weird one? No, I was going to say the stream. The stream is a weird one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're. You know. <laughs> We're way off. <laughs> we're as far as the mark goes, way off. But hey, you know, hey, we're yeah. gonna have fun with it. Um, yeah. Worst thing that I've thing that I had to drink, I would say. So, um, friends of mine and I, we go on an annual beer trip. We we travel the so far the United States. We go to different breweries and we try you know beers like local local beers and stuff like that. Um, I am not a fan of sour beers. Sour beers I are, sours. I understand, I understand people do like sour beers, but like, I am, I'm not a huge fan of sour beers. Mm. Um, like, I have had, like, essentially a beer that is a, like, liquid forehead. If you remember those hard candies, right? Oh, yeah, I love um, those. Yeah, it was it was not, fun. it was just not good. And um, and then we went there the next year, again, and uh, you know, <laughs> to follow up. And I was like, yep, nope, still don't like this <laughs> at all. Um, well, you you gave it at least you shot. tried it. Yeah. 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 At least you gave it two two fair shakes. Yeah, I've known people that are like, I'll try anything twice because you know. <laughs> First impression might not have gotten it right. I'm not that lenient, but I it's it's admirable. <laughs> um, I've also tried um, Toronto pepper and Szechuan pepper beer. Oh um, boy, that's it is spicy. Yeah, um, basically spicy, um, and it gives you you know kind of that like uh, that like heat. And then that buzz, and so it's pretty interesting. Um, I wouldn't drink 
much of it. Like, four ounce taster is just fine. Nobody needs a pint glass of this stuff. But um, just kind of like interesting, but also too like interesting as far as like the first couple of sips go. That you would want, you know, multiple ounces of. Um, yeah, that sounds whack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think those are, you know, those are probably probably the to my list. Mm. Don't have battery acid on there. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> This is why you're a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Aha, you heard it here first, folks. Alex is a normal person. <laughs> is there anybody you want to direct the recording to? Uh, any, like, I told you so's? Because I'm, I'm still uh, waiting on one of those myself <laughs> to be able uh, to direct people and say, look, I told you. Yeah, I'll just... I'm just gonna clip out that part, make it my uh, my text tone, like. Because <laughs> <laughs> that totally says I'm a normal. <laughs> <laughs> it says I'm a normal person. I'm a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something an alien would do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> ah yes, I like to listen music like the humans <laughs> <laughs> oh no Hoku why <laughs> why oh no why? Why? oh that hey. sucks for that anyone is... listening back to this recording I'm about to solidify this history the worst thing that our guest Hoku has drank is shampoo that's like like drinking so like was that just like in the shop like in during the shower and just like got overcome like overcome by like like yeah. wrong timing like yeah like we're talking about drinking yeah here. so like did it did it end up in your mouth and you tasted it because that still sucks but it, keys is a it's a deliberate i drank this on purpose <laughs> is right yours, is yours a similar like Oh, no. You were a child and it <laughs> sounded good. That's always the worst start to a to a sentence. So I was also a child. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna guess that it's yes. Strawberry, it was strawberry cream and cream scented. Okay. So you thought it would taste the same. Yeah. See, in in childhood, in yep. their defense, uh, <laughs> it did not taste like strawberries and cream. Yeah. <laughs> That is, it's, it is the biggest downer as a kid to realize that the stuff that smells amazing tastes like garbage, um, and they make it look so good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I, you know what, I can't, we had a reaction to that, but I can't blame you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I feel like it's not as bad as the battery acid thing, because I was kind of into it, so. <laughs> <laughs> You have a physical, like, you have an actual memory of this. It's not like a story about you that has been told to you. You actually remember this. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, I completely remember it because I was, like, um, I was old enough to know better. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was probably, like, was... seven. <laughs> oh, wow. Some, like, six, or, logic, six or seven. Yeah. Some, like, logic going on in there. Like, I think. This if it's if not. you can call the string of deranged thought that led to the conclusion <laughs> battery acid tastes good, then yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> I feel like I was a, a tame child now. <laughs> uh, yeah, like my my siblings like did things like uh, one time my brother told my sister that. He would give her, I think it was like twenty dollars or something like that, um, to climb out of the second story window of our living room, um, mm. and hang off of it by her arms and then climb mm. back in. Um, and she did it. My mom wasn't happy about it. Um, I don't know if she got her twenty dollars or not, but like she was out there <laughs> climbing the side of the house doing stunts. She was probably eh, probably like six or seven. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything like that. <laughs> Gotcha. Mm. So child, so child parkour. Yeah, kid, kid, <clears throat> kid parkour was not my thing. Parkour junior. Yeah. <laughs> parkour junior. 
<laughs> you know that That's YouTube channel ridiculous. exists. Oh, it does. Ah. Oh, oh my you know God. what? That leads me to another fantastic question that I actually love. I don't know how this turned into <laughs> random things, but um, if I'm derailing the show, Oh, no, we're we're in bonus we're in bonus round now. It oh, okay. What's, up? what's, what's up? what's the weirdest scar that you have? Ooh. I'm I'm mega boring. Um, I have uh, the weirdest one. Yeah, like the the one that you got in the or like most like strange way. Uh. uh it's mostly like nicks and bruises and cuts that like I don't know where they came from kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. But like that's it's not yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the reason why I groaned was because I was like, ah, I don't have anything good to contribute. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, hmm, I'm trying to think of my scars. Um, I, I it's not a weird scar, but I have a a very tiny nick that is like um on the the top part of my hand up here. Um, I'm showing it to the camera. Um, it's, uh, let's see, maybe, maybe one eighth of an inch, um, long, a little <laughs> straight line. Um, and it came from when I was five years old, I was carving a gourd, uh, with a knife. Um, it was one of those, like, pumpkin ones that are made for, like, kids, because they're not very sharp. Yeah. Um, but it was a, it was a, it wasn't a pumpkin, it was a little bitty gourd that I was palming as a five-year-old, remember? Um, and I had this knife, and I was trying to penetrate the gourd so hard, and I finally got it, pressed the knife through, and it went all the way on the other side to my hand. Oh, um, dear. Yeah. <laughs> and so right in the middle of my palm, there was, to my memory, this big puncture wound uh, from the, you know, the, this knife. Um, and uh, so uh, being a five-year-old, obviously, that was, uh, I, I don't remember freaking out, but it was bleeding a lot, and it was big, and I was oh. like, ooh, that was a dumb thing for me to do. I remember it being, like, a thing in school where I was had to be careful not to, you know, like, out on the playground, not to get anything in the <laughs> in the Gosh. wound. Um, and uh, they had us five-year-olds, like, cleaning the lunch tables and stuff, which involved, like, getting a, a rag and a bucket, and, you know, my mom specifically told me not to do that. It was, like, this whole big thing. <clears throat> but now, um, it's... Oh, an eighth of an inch big, <laughs> and at the, it's no longer in the middle of my hand, obviously, because my hand is a lot bigger. It is the scar is still there. It's just migrated up <clears throat> to be like right underneath my finger, so I can see basically. I have a scale reference of how big my palm was as a five-year-old versus how big it is now. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But it's migrated. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I punctured it here. Then yeah. my hand increased in mass. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Um, and again, it's, it's not like a weird injury or whatever. It's just like a, kind of a neat, you know, it's like, a, you know how some people get rulers tattooed on them? It's kind of like yeah. what it was. I have a size reference constantly of uh, time and aging. And my body and how, and how it's changing and will break down. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> ever an ever ever present reminder of the yeah <laughs> Wait, um... uh i don't really i don't really have any like i guess i can think of three that i've got in strange ways maybe but it's not like crazy or anything Did one you... i have on my arm um i got it from my mom who dropped a curling iron on? Me oh no! When I was Ooh. when I was but three years old. Oh no! Um, yeah, I only know about that one because she told me. Because I <laughs> didn't know where. It... What the heck is this? <laughs> good You're on like cool face, mom. <laughs> good, good for her for owning up to it. I don't know that I ever. Yeah. I might have been like, hmm, I don't know, honey. It's weird. Maybe it's a birthmark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. The other one, I have have two scars <laughs> on the backs of my legs, Sarah. Because um, when I was, uh, I went swimming when I was like, I don't know, 15, 16, something like that. And they had a fire pit out, and I got out of the pool, and I was, so I, I backed up the fire pit, and I was like, I, I can't feel anything, like I'm so cold. So I kept backing up. I was like, where is the fire? Oh, and no. then all of a sudden, I just feel this searing pain. <laughs> and I turn around, and the backs of my legs are right on, right on the fire pit. 
And so I, I freak out and I turn around and there's these two just straight lines across the back of my cow. Um, branded really yourself. Away. I did, I really did actually. Um, it's, it's pretty funny to look now and just be like, oh, how stupid. Um, but I actually just recently acquired one, not even a couple weeks ago. Um, you're, you're breaking I, up a little bit, by the way. Uh oh. Sorry, I, I don't know what the solution is. Maybe just eat your mic a little bit more. Well, I don't have a mic to eat. Oh, oh. It, it sounds like you got a little closer. Well, I'm using my, my AirPods. It's, oh, okay. The mic is the same distance. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those things, like, you know, like when you're a kid and you tease kids, like, oh, I'll give you a dollar if you can, like, bite your elbow. This is <gasps> yeah. humanly, physically impossible. Or, like, bite your ear. Like, and you just start running around yeah. in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's see if it works now. Um, my most recent scar acquisition because I scar very easily now. Um, I We were moving, and I tripped on a wire coat hanger, oh, no. and the little hook in, like, dug into my foot, and I continued to trip with my other foot, so it just dragged a metal scrapey bit all oh. across my foot. Oh, and now I have a line oh, that goes from, like, the edge, like, one side of my foot to the other, and it looks so stupid. <laughs> Why? Oh, Why? I don't know. It was really dumb. I'm clumsy. I trip a lot, and then it just happens. Um, oh, it's rough. Yeah, and you know what? The, the thing that makes me the most angry about it is that it looks dumb, <laughs> and I got it from a dumb thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're gonna have someone to... asked me. Yeah, yeah you're, you're well, gonna have to come up with a story for it. That you think is, <laughs> that you don't think is dumb, so that you can tell it without. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, so if someone asked me how I got the scar, do you want to know how I got these scars? I tripped on a coat <laughs> hanger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, well, have to say I was fighting a, a bear or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're a bit Pretty over sad. time, huh? Sorry, I just. Are we a bit over? I've been I've been type uh, I've been painting and I just just looked at the I was like huh I'm doing pretty good I mean you had three yeah. minutes yeah no okay <laughs> a, a little oh. bit a little bit longer but we had you know well we had to find out what's the craziest thing that you've drunk we've had to find <laughs> out you know top top ten reasons why apparently drinking uh, the, pickle juice is beneficial uh, pickle juice is beneficial uh -uh. right yeah. yeah so I mean yeah absolutely Important absolutely. Stuff. <laughs> and I mean, I feel like we lost we lost a little bit of time in the technical difficulties. Anyway, so. yeah, we did, right? So we had to give you know, so we give everybody the bonus coverage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is the director's commentary cut of the yeah. of live streams for for dog fun. Pretty bad. So, <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I I unfortunately have to sign off at this point. Um, yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be running a trivia game. Uh, later this evening, so I need to oh, uh, get. Yeah, um, I, I'll probably set it up, and maybe we we three can play, and maybe play with some of our our audience. Um, That's awesome. Cool. So, um, awesome. well, I, I will sign up. If, are you guys able to stay? Do you want? I mean, ever? <laughs> I, I figure, you know, I will say my I'll say my sign off. So I'll say my goodbyes. Thank you guys, everybody, for uh, joining us for the live stream, um, and I hope to see you guys on our next live stream, which is exactly when sarah says it is because you know that's <laughs> hey sarah <laughs> when is the game gonna be done hey sarah when are we doing the next live stream uh, i feel like i, I ask her all the tough questions <laughs> <laughs> i like to keep you all on your toes you know a little, little air of mystery awesome cool well i'm gonna sign off you guys can you know feel free to hang out thank you everybody i'll talk to you later have a great night alex thanks bye, bye. Um, what do you think, Kiki? Are, are you, doing, uh... Are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you. Do you have more, um... Uh, like, commentary or questions? Or you want to continue, uh... The, the painting here? Alex usually I mean, does the, uh, you know... The moderating. Uh, yeah, and because I've been talking a lot, things have gone off the rails. Which I can continue doing. <laughs> Do that for hours, you know it. 
but it's, it's it's up to you. Um, well, let's say that like I've gotten a good amount of uh, work on this one done, but um, I've got my one event card done for this week, and I've got to do uh, a little bit more on the art that I'm not allowed to show on stream. Oh, okay. So, oh, you you sound sad. Do you have more <laughs> more questions? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> well, well, now I want to know. Well, I can't think of any right now. I had oh. Okay. It's the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I probably should. If I'm going to continue to stay up and painting, it's about midnight East Coast time. Um, oh, frick. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, so if I'm going to stay up and continue painting, I should probably work on... Um, the other one of the, thing. Mm -hmm, one yeah. of the secret things that we're yeah. probably going to show um, at the end of the month. Alex said, I don't know, I don't know, probably, I don't know if we will or not, but uh, Alex mentioned that we might show one of these super secret arts at uh, the very last live stream that we do with actual painting, which will probably be close towards the end of the month. Because um, we're very close to done with all of this stuff, which is... That's like, insane. Yeah, it's... It's crazy, <laughs> but really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, well, since it is midnight and everyone's been... Thank you everybody for hanging out with us through the technical difficulties. Um, mm -hmm. That was bananas. I hope we get our stream back. <laughs> yeah. Um, and hopefully next week we can think of some unproblematic content. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe by then we'll have figured out what was wrong with the first stream and know how to fix it yeah all right cool well thank you everybody for hanging out um like comment and subscribe i don't know the sign off that alex usually does i'm usually just like painting uh like comment subscribe do all the doobly -doo, and yes. make sure to hit that bell yes there we go <laughs> thank you um you're welcome we'll see y'all next week for a stream bye everybody